Our education program is centered on public-private partnerships with the government to co-manage local schools in which we provide resources, employ educators, develop curriculum, renovate classrooms, expand campuses, and train teachers to revolutionize the standard of education to best serve as many students as possible. We partnered with Gatigi Primary School in 2007 and Oldiani Secondary School in 2013. At the start of these partnerships, campus infrastructure was crumbling. Student-teacher ratios fell at 80 to 1. Students weren't graduating and the schools ranked in the bottom 5% of schools in the nation. Today, graduation rates are nearing 100%, with Katiki Primary School ranking in the top 4% of schools in the country. We are on a mission to ensure that every student in our catchment area has access to a quality education. Our catchment area consists of three primary schools that all feed Oldiani Secondary School. Through our success in managing Katiki Primary School, Students are graduating with a level of education that dramatically differs from the other primary schools that feed Oldiani Secondary School. It creates a gap so significant that teachers at Oldiani Secondary School struggle to cater to both student groups. Over the next five years, we will be partnering with Oldiani and Miali Primary Schools to fill that gap. We are going to fill it by hiring 34 teachers by building 257 desks, by purchasing 1,936 books, and through consistent leadership and daily support to improve student outcomes. By 2024, TCF will be co-managing the entire Oldiani School District, serving over 2,100 students. While we work to ensure that students are graduating from primary school with an equitable level of education, we will simultaneously work to address issues that cause students to struggle at the secondary school level. Most Oldiani secondary school students walk over two hours to school each day, a commute that puts student safety at risk. In Tanzania, 23% of all sexual assaults occur on the walk to school. The level of risk and lengthy commutes often discourages students from attending school leading to only 26% of eligible students ever enrolling in secondary school. For those that are able to overcome the barriers of transport, many students still face significant responsibilities at home that interfere with their studies. This is most especially true for girls. A recent study discovered that girls in day-only secondary schools worked an average of 28 hours per week on top of their schooling. The rigorous demands placed on girls leaves them too exhausted to learn. Their grades plummet, and many fail the exams they must pass in order to continue their education. To address these challenges, we will be building dormitories to create a supportive residential campus at Oldiani Secondary School. We will be providing housing to over 380 students by 2026 to create community, provide power, serve and support students, remove barriers, enhance nutrition, improve outcomes, better health, and reduce risk.